We want to bring forward now, representing once again, the great organization that Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. founded, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. He is the President Emeritus, the Reverend Joseph Lowry. Give him a round of applause, please. Thank you, sir. Let the church say amen. amen. We we'll thank these young brothers. They make us proud of what they've done here today. And we're here today to make our voices heard in a critical time of transition. Not only are we witnessing the passing of an old millennium, but we're witnessing the passing of an era. The old era was an anti-communist hysteria era. The new era is still undefined. We must help define this new era. We know the name of the old one millennium, but not in the new era. We do know those who negatively impacted the old era, and they're seeking to redefine the new era in their own image. We come here to say, not so. We in that old era, they maximized profits for the few while minimizing wages for the many. They sacrificed ideals. They trivialized doing the right thing. They ostracized goodness. They scandalized our name. They vilified our movement. They mesmerized our intention. They canonized the devil and they, they, they demonized, demonized the saints. We come today to say no more. There are today people in black robes who are assaulting affirmative action and voting rights by day, people in white sheets burning places of worship by night, and there are people in blue uniforms who are profiling our color and defiling our dignity and brutalizing our bodies. We come today to say they're doing it every day and every hour, but there must be an end to it. We've come to diagnose this sickness with the boys in blue and to recommend a healing therapy for well, the criminal justice system is the least impacted by social change. And that aspect of the justice system that touches the mind and soul and body of the people is where the rubber hits the road and where the billy stick hits our head and where the bullets strike our body. These police officers have become arresters, jurists, jurors, and executioners. We've come today to deplore the disparities in sentencing, to deplore the fact that less than one third of the people who use crack and cocaine are black and brown, but two thirds of those who are in prison are black and brown. Let me say that the sickness begins at the street level, at the disparate arrest. We've come today to say that sickness is a blue psychosis. And we come today to say there must be a healing of the psychosis in blue among police officers in this country. Finally, let me say that the therapy includes the intensive training of recruits, community-wide monitoring and condemnation, and the President of the United States issuing an executive order outlawing profiling in this country. As I close, at the end of the march, the celebration of the anniversary of the march from Selma to Montgomery. President Clinton came to Selma to march across that bridge with us, and he talked about we have more bridges to cross. Well, it's not the bridge that's important. We just use the bridge to cross the river. Black folks look like to me always got one more river to cross. But let's make it clear, we're not looking back no president, no senator, no vice president, no police force will turn us back. We've come too far. We marched too long, prayed too hard, wept too bitterly, bled too profusely, and died too young to let anybody turn back the clock on our journey to justice. God bless you. We're going on. The Reverend Joseph Lowry of the SCLC. Thank you, Reverend Lowry.